Now listen to a case history. This is a history of a 60 year old man who has been a smoker for last 30 years and he has been smoking almost 20-25 cigarettes a day. For the last 5-6 to six years he has developed chronic cough. This cough is present in most of the days and it is productive of sputum. Most of the time the sputum is whitish in color and it is small in amount. At times he has the change in color of his sputum and which resolves with the use of uh, some antibiotics given to him by his general practitioners. Now he has presented with intermittent swelling of his feet. This swelling most of the time appears uh, in the evenings and it settles down after the patient rests. And with these he also complains shortness of breath which is increasing uh, progressively uh, especially for the last five to six months. On examination the swelling was not visible. The chest examination revealed the patient had barreling of the chest and there were occasional ronchi which were audible on both sides of the lung. The digital uh, saturation was normal. Now an ECG of this patient was done. This is the segment of that ECG shown in the picture. This is limb lead 2 and now you can see on this limb lead 2 there is a prominent P wave. Normally the P wave does not exceed 2 millimeters and to be precise if the P wave is more than 2.5 millimeters tall this patient has abnormal P wave this is called P pulmonale and you can see this P wave is almost three small squares tall so this patient has P pulmonale. Now why does this P pulmonale has developed? P pulmonale is seen in right atrial enlargement if the right atrial becomes big hypertrophy this patient shows on ECG a P pulmonale. So the P pulmonale in this particular patient is indicative of a condition which is called core pulmonale. The core pulmonale actually develops because of persistent pulmonary hypertension which is secondary to chronic obstructive airway disease and when the right heart starts failing this is called core pulmonale. So the evidence of pulmonary hypertension right now available to is, us is the P pulmonale and the evidence of right heart failure is that intermittent swelling of the feet. Patient is on no drugs. Now this uh, core pulmonale which is because of the lung condition that is the heart failure because of disease in the lung called core pulmonale can be seen in patients who have got chronic obstructive airway disease or the patients who have got uh, advanced pulmonary fibrosis. Now in addition to this, this P pulmonale may be also seen in other conditions. This is indicative of right atrial enlargement which can be enlarged in uh, tricuspid stenosis. It can be uh, the pressure in the right atrium can increase in patients who have got pulmonary hypertension which is maybe as I said it may be secondary to lung disease or it may be primary pulmonary hypertension. And patients who have got pulmonary stenosis which may be present congenitally as isolated lesion or maybe it's part of a, a complex congenital problem like uh, tritology of phallic. In these, the patient may have pulmonary hypertension and there may be enlargement of the P wave that is, you can see a P pulmonale. Similarly, patients who've got vasculitis, they may have pulmonary hypertension and there may be P pulmonale. So we can see P pulmonale in primary pulmonary hypertension, in secondary pulmonary hypertension, in uh, pulmonary stenosis, and in patients who've got pulmonary uh, tricuspid stenosis. So this is about the P pulmonale and next time we will discuss another abnormality of the P wave.